guest stars in one of the most talked about shows on TV, Abbott Elementary. Take a look. So how does this work? The class that reads the most gets a pizza party? I mean, that's what the kids want? Kind of. Every kid gets pizza, but we track the class in each grade that reads the most. It's mostly ceremonial, but some of us take it more seriously than others. Clear the way to time second grade readathon champion coming through. And this belt's staying with the champ. <laughs> yeah, well, who wants to wear a big belt anyway? <laughs> Please welcome Lisa Ann Walter! I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you. Congratulations on Abbott Elementary. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Like the show is doing really well. It must feel, feel really good, huh? It feels incredible. I, I, people come up or they'll text me and say, you know, you've had various levels of success throughout your career. You had a whole bunch of great stuff happen yes. with, like, the parent trap and stuff early in the career, and then years where I'm just a working mom trying to put food on the table, and now this incredible show that's blown up, and I just am so grateful. I'm not just because the show's a success, even mm -hmm. though, thank you, thank you all for making it a success, but it's, it's that people are loving it and that will come up personally and say, um, I took all the kids to uh, Disneyland. Mm. My, my, I have identical twins, born on the same day as the twins in the Parent Trap, weirdly, wow. on October 11th. And I brought them to Disneyland for their birthday recently. And people would just come up and say, I watch with my whole family. I watch with my kids or my grandkids. And that means the world to us. Yeah. It's the be that and teachers telling us how much they love the show mm -hmm. and how it really reflects what they go through. Yeah. So, I mean, to be able to honor them and give teachers the respect mm -hmm. that they deserve in, in our community. Yes. There's nothing better. Yes. So I hear you could do an impression of Shirley Ralph. I, you know I gotta have you do it. Shirley Ralph. <laughs> um, I just talked to her, she's my baby. I just was talking to her right before I walked in here. Uh -huh. And we went shopping. Cheryl and I are a menace at the mall. Can I just tell you? <laughs> We walk into wherever we go, and I'm like, okay, the gowns are over here. This is the clearance section. I'll meet you in the middle. Bring what you have, and we'll try it on. I need the shot with Jonathan. Oh, no, okay. you have to come out. Mm -hmm. You have to come out. We just, <laughs> we tore through Topanga Canyon last week. <laughs> she is incredible. She'll just tell me, okay, this is what you may get me for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get into my register. <laughs> um, but the interesting thing about her, and I, and I pulled it. I went, okay, what color do you want? It was a Louis Vuitton shawl. And she was like, girl, no. <laughs> she, will, she will just uh, call me up on the phone and say, girlfriend, where are we going this weekend? I've lost the ability to care. I cannot do one more thing. Oh, there's party? Well, then I'll go. <laughs> She's, she's, she's magnificent in that every single thing she says is emphatic and important, and yes. you want to listen. You want to listen. Yes, because it is the most important Captivating. thing. Captivating. And she, and she will pontificate, but it is everything she says. You all saw her Emmy acceptance speech, right? Yes. <laughs> Which was amazing. I was sobbing and standing on a chair at the yes. Emmys, and <gasps> yes, Cheryl, yes! <laughs> But everything she says when she talks to all of us in the, in the crew is that important yeah. and that it, it, wonderful and inspiring. And she is that person every single day. She walks it. And she won't let me get away with talking about myself. If I try to talk, be like, oh, I just can't because my butt's too big in that dress. She was like, who are you listening to? <laughs> You know, and, and she, does, she has a good point, because when I grew up, white women were not allowed to be, you know, curvilicious. We weren't. We had to look like a Charlie's Angel, you know, <laughs> like this. And I just made myself crazy, starving myself and trying to be skinny for all these years. And now this is all in style. I'm like, yeah. You look thank good. You. Thank you. You look good. I'm tired. You doing it, yeah, baby. And, she, and she'll tell me, too. She'll be like, yes, that's yes. what you should have been doing. Listen to her. She mm -hmm. knows. Mm -hmm. okay, and you guys are the cast. Your cast was on Family Feud. That had to be fun, because I'm trying to get to Family Feud. What, what do you me mean? That. Like, they would have you in a second. Uh, well, I'm waiting for my call. Just, tell I Steve to. Harvey I will crochet you a sweater that looks like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, we had a great time, but I will tell you, you would think that it's all fun, uh -huh. but I'm incredibly competitive. Are you? Oh, like sick. Like my, my best girlfriend is the one who played the mean girlfriend in The Parent Trap, uh -huh. Elaine Hendricks. And she used to have a game night and she said, I have to stop inviting you. You're that competitive. Oh yeah, no, I get crazy. I like need to win. So I went on, okay, that's me on The Family Feud. Look at how happy I am. That was before. 
And then, that was before. Well, they ask questions that you think, okay, this is going to be the answer, right? You all watch it, and you're like, okay, I know what the answer is. Uh -huh. What's America going to say that's not this? So the question was, what would a husband get in trouble if he came home smelling like this? What are the top five answers? Yeah. So we went through a couple. Yeah, you all know. <laughs> I was gonna say that, but I'm like, that's not gonna be on the board. <laughs> uh, but I said perfume, right? That was mm -hmm. right. And then it, it went around, and I'm telling people, okay, say this, say this. And then it got to me, and I had a choice. There were two things, weed or cigarettes. And I'm like, they're not gonna say weed. It's Family Feud. This is America's evening show. They're not gonna say it. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna say this, and then that'll be the next question. Um, no. It turns out it was not cigarettes. It was not on the board. What? You know what was on the board? What was so the board? next person, it was, it was weed. That's what, uh, it was the cast of hats. Stole it with weed. I'm furious. Do you know what the one answer was that it wasn't cigarettes? You know what it was? What? Food. 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 I'm like, what? And I'm Italian. I'm like, what crazy wife is going to be, her husband's coming home and she's What's like, when did you get a meatball? Right, right. <laughs> I'm with you. I'm like, how, that's Who's on the survey? You are that controlling. You can't let your husband have a hot dog on the way home from work and he's hungry. I'm like, I'm happy with this show because they put Garrett's popcorn in my dressing room and I'm We'll like, feed you. Parent Trap is the 25th anniversary, year anniversary. That's right. You don't hear that? That is it. What do you remember most about filming? It was an incredible experience. Uh, everybody was sensational. Lindsay was the most incredible professional. It's lovely to see her resurgence and mm -hmm. coming back to town and being married. And yeah, she's, she's, she's my son's age. They were friends when we were, I mean, she was 11 and she was this unbelievable professional on set. She was like, had all the manners that you would love in a, in a professional yeah. going saying please and thank you to everybody in the hair and makeup trailers. Um, but. I think doing it, and of course I met my best friend, Elaine Hendricks, doing the movie, but the thing that was so sensational, and to this day it continues, is the response of audiences, that they look at it like comfort food. And people will tell me all the time online, because I read all the comments, <laughs> and they'll say, it's, every time it's on, I stop, I don't have to be watching it, I can clean my house, or if my kids are there, it's just on, present, and I feel safe. And especially from kids who in those years felt a little like their life was not as safe or they weren't as um, accepted, like kids from the LGBTQ community yes. still write me now and say, you made me feel accepted. You made me feel good. You kept the twin secret and you made me feel like if you were in my life, I would have been loved. And I'm like, I know. That has to be a beautiful. great feeling. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.